What do the Europeans know that we don't, or vice versa? <laughs> they, I don't think they know anything differently than we know. I think that there's pretty much what's called equipoise around this question. What equipoise means is that some studies show that reinfection is less common after being recovered versus getting the vaccine, and some studies show the opposite. And essentially, if you put all the data together, probably the largest study shows that reinfection it's actually a little more protective than um, having the vaccine. That was in Israel. Importantly, Israel gives their vaccine only Pfizer. It's every three weeks apart, so it's not the best vaccine. But if you put all the data together, and we've been accumulating data over 15 months, probably we're at a situation where reinfection is equally as common if you've been previously infected versus having the vaccine. And I can certainly talk about the South Africa situation. Well, do talk about the South Africa situation. I, I made a point of saying that that was not yet peer reviewed, but what is the latest? So what it's very interesting. I mean, everything's so new with the Omicron variant. We literally have a week and two days of data. The issue is that what why would natural and why would recovery from infection be variable? It's actually variable because you can present with really severe disease, unfortunately, and then you actually have more durable immunity. You have stronger T cells and you have antibodies that last a long time. Then if you present with more mild disease, the opposite is true. Your antibodies will likely come down more quickly and a vaccine would be merited. Same with the vaccine, by the way. The vaccine, AstraZeneca, does not raise as high of antibodies as the mRNA vaccines do. And so they may be stronger, but then again, Moderna is a stronger mRNA vaccine than Pfizer, higher dose and, and more duration between doses. So all that put together is it's complicated, it's mixed. And in South Africa, the vaccine program started with a lot of AstraZeneca at the beginning. It actually started much later than we did here in the United States. We don't have even rates of vaccination in South Africa, 23%, 25% now. And fundamentally, rates of previous infection were less likely to be severe. It's a younger population. So all of that makes it complicated. And it's been longer since people have had their natural infection in South Africa. And then finally, that the paper that you just referenced or the data that you just referenced, there's no mention of protection against severe disease, which we're beginning to understand, we're going to see a lot of reinfections, whether you're vaccinated or whether you've been previously infected. Mild infections in the nose with an endemic circulating high-level virus, we're going to see it. What's the protection against severe disease? That's the fundamental question.